animation loop. So let's make a short timeline. Click the button at camera position. Click the button at personage switcher. And here in the drop down menu, I will search for Albina. So I'm scrolling down. And here she is. I'm activating her. And we'll move her a little closer so we can see everything better. I will change her rotation to the correct one. And now again, I will move her back so we will have more place where to walk. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, I will have to add her some animations. And here, I will scroll down for the everyday motion. And first of all, I'm scrolling to the female walk normal. Here it is. I'm selecting the animation, click the button Add Animation. And as you can see, the animation length is one second. So if I want to loop this animation and to make it longer, I will just, in this field, the end time, the last field, I'm changing the number one to number three. So this animation will play three times. It will be three times longer. And I click the, bu the button Save. So this is done. And after she walk, I'm selecting another animation, so she will be very angry. And I'm clicking the button, Add Animation. So now I have two animations. She will walk, and then she will be mad. Okay, this is done. i am click the button, Done, to close the window. And now let's set up the movement. So click the button, Activate Moving. Mark the checkbox, Activate Moving. And as our animation will play during 3 seconds, the walk animation plays during 3 seconds, so I'm setting up the time here for the 3 seconds, and now I will move her to the position where I need her to stop. So she will stop here, and I'm clicking the button here, set coordinates for move to position. So I just click it. Now I will move her back to her start position. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I click the button save, save coordinates and settings. Now I will add the pause time for the whole time for the, my animation. So it was three time, three seconds of walk and two seconds of mat. So I'm setting up the five seconds. I click the button save coordinates and settings to save the setting, and I will add the last camera position just to complete the whole line. Okay, now let's see what we have done. So click the button Open Play Menu and click the button Play Timeline without recording. So as you can see, she's walking, she stopped and she's angry. And our animation has been looped, so she was walking for 3 seconds, for 3 times longer than normal. That's it.